Greetings, church. There are several characteristics that we mentioned that mark Fellowship Church Lubbock. Loving sacrificial fellowship, practical gospel application, zealous soul care, intentional evangelism, and authentic Christ-likeness. You hear that come up occasionally within the church, something we talk about within new members class that we want to see mark our church. The reality is, is that I do hear the characteristics that I just mentioned come up on a week-to-week basis as I talk to people. I hear your stories about sharing the gospel with others, with friends, with family, with coworkers. I hear you taking meals to one another, caring for those that are uh, unable to leave their house for a time or that are just need encouragement, that you're there in those ways. And we even see it as we see people gathering after the Sunday evening service uh, at the park just to enjoy fellowship with one another. Well, another distinctive of our church is a high view of the Word of God. Paul called the Word the sacred writings in 1 Timothy 3.15. And he says, They are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Well, that's significant that the Word would be like a path to be able to lead you to salvation, that it has this ability to it. That's a high view of the Word of God. Then he proceeds right after that to express some of the truths that we build our high view of Scripture upon. Paul says this, All Scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. Well, there's going to be ebbs and flows in our world. We've seen that, and all we have to do is turn on the TV to see that over and over again. Things will come into fashion and exit as quickly as they arrived. and Institutions will change. Traditions will change. Cultural norms are going to change. But the Word of God is different. We're told it endures forever. And certainly we know this is true because it comes from our God who carries and reveals himself with the attribute of immutability. He is unchanging so that both God and his word stand the test of time. How this plays out within the life of our church is that we desire to be a church that in all areas displays this high view of the word of God. Practically, that plays out in our desire to know the word, to proclaim the word, and to apply the word. On a week-to-week basis, we see this. Wednesday evenings, this very evening, we'll gather to continue a study through the book of Ephesians that we've been looking at for many months now, verse by verse through the book of Ephesians. Tomorrow night, Thursday night, the monthly men's group is going to meet and continue a study that began months ago through the book of 1 Timothy. The adult Sunday school class on Sunday mornings is going through the book of Psalms. And then an exciting thing I want to share with you is at the last Sunday of this month, in the evening service, we're going to begin a study through the book of 1 Samuel. Uh, We want you to make plans to be there, to participate as we embark on what's going to be a multi-year journey through the book of 1 Samuel and all the rich biblical themes that it carries. It's, it is going to be exciting to consider how the Lord's going to use this time to grow us, grow his people and his church. And then, of course, Sunday mornings being in Mark, so that whether it's from the kids' rooms to discipleship groups to the pulpit, our church hungers and thirsts for the Word of God and for the truth to ever be sanctifying us so that we could bring glory to His name. If Sunday mornings are your only time to sit under the teaching of the Word, well, you're really missing great opportunities all throughout the week. And I would just ask you to consider some of those opportunities in participating in some of the other groups and times of teaching that are meeting together. A few items that I want to share with you for your calendar. As I mentioned, tomorrow night is men's group. Then on the last Sunday of June the 28th, there's going to be a meeting at 1.30. You'll want to put that on your calendars. It's going to be at the church after the morning service uh, for those wanting to volunteer for our community outreach. This is a time where we hope to proclaim gospel truths to those in the neighborhood around the church in lieu of our plans for having been for Vacation Bible School this year. It's also going to give us some good training for VBS in 2021. Also after the evening service that Sunday, 
plan on joining us for an all-church softball game. It's going to be a great time for fellowship, for adults and kids to just really enjoy time once again together. A few things to pray about, too. Uh, as you know, if you've been attending, the Lord has blessed us with many new families, many new children. Uh, our membership even grew during our time apart. And we probably all are aware of the stresses in our current facilities that we have, even with the new paint, new floors, and new lights all around us. I would just ask that you would pray as we make decisions in the days ahead about building in order to alleviate some of the challenges related to classrooms and, frankly, bathrooms. Our goal is to bring you some information in the weeks ahead. But before we do, I just ask that you would pray for the elders and the deacons as we think through some of these things, that we would be good stewards of the resources that God has provided us with and that all of our plans would be made to honor him. We look forward to discussing all these things with you as a congregation very soon. Friends, what a blessing it is to serve as your pastor, and what a joy it is uh, to serve him with each of you in ministry. May his name may be made great through the ministries of Fellowship Church Lovelock. Bless you.